Say we're asked to find the integral that we see here. Now, you may want to go ahead and give it a try and actually find this integral before I explain. And if so, go ahead and press pause to try. Looking at this integral, we can see that we're trying to integrate a rational function, for which the numerator is a polynomial, indeed we're dealing with a cubic polynomial, and the denominator is a linear. As soon as we have to integrate a polynomial which is being divided by a linear, we can use the method that we see here. And the trick is to go right ahead and divide this polynomial by the linear. And for that, I'll go ahead and use synthetic division. So I draw a table, something looking like this, and at the top of this table, I write each of the coefficients of the polynomial we have on the numerator. So those are four, negative three, negative seven, and negative five. On the left-hand side of this table, I write the value of x, which would make the linear equal to zero. It's quite clear that if x equals to two, that linear will equal to zero. Now I carry down this four to the bottom of the table, like so, and now we can get started. So four times two is eight, and I now add this eight to the negative three directly above it. That's negative three plus eight, which is five. We then have five times two, which is 10, and I add that 10 to the negative seven above it. So that's negative seven plus 10, which is three, and three times two is six, which I add to the negative five above it. So that's negative five plus six, which is one. Now here's a quick reminder of how to interpret the numbers that we have at the bottom of the table. These numbers allow us to quickly state that four x cubed minus three x squared minus seven x minus five divided by the linear x minus two equals to four x squared plus five x plus three plus one over x minus two, where the four, the five, and the three are the first three numbers that we have at the bottom of the table here. The one on the other hand is the last number we have. All right, now that that's said, we can get back to our integral. Using the result we just found, we can go ahead and rewrite this integral as the integral of four x squared plus five x plus three plus one over x minus two. And although we don't have to, I'll go ahead and split this integral into two to write that this equals to the integral of four x squared plus five x plus three plus the integral of one over x minus two. And the reason I split this integral is for us to look at this specific integral on its own. To integrate this, we're going to need to use u substitution. And for that, I'm going to define the new variable u as x minus two. So let me go ahead and do that in gray. I'll say let u equal to x minus two. The derivative du dx will therefore be equal to one and the differential dx will simply be equal to du. And we can find dx equals to du simply by rearranging this derivative here. Okay, now that we've defined the new variable u and we found the differential dx in terms of du, we can go ahead and rewrite this entire integral in terms of u. Indeed, we can state that the integral of one over x minus two is equal to the integral of one over u Remember, we stated that u was equal to x minus two, and the differential dx is equal to du. So I write that as well, that's du. Now integrating this with respect to u, we quickly find that that's equal to ln of the absolute value of u, plus some constant of integration, which I'll call c apostrophe. Finally, replacing u by x minus two, we can state that this equals to ln of the absolute value of x minus two plus some constant c apostrophe. All right, now that we've seen how to integrate this, we can quickly integrate this first integral using the power rule, and we can state that this equals to four thirds of x cubed plus five halves of x squared plus three x plus some constant of integration, which I'll call c star, plus the result we just found in gray here, ln of the absolute value of x minus two plus some other constant c apostrophe or c dash. And now the last step I'll make is to say that rather than writing c star and c dash, 
I'll just combine those two constants and say that c, some other constant, is equal to c star plus c dash. And we can now write the final answer as 4 thirds of x to the power of 3 plus 5 over 2 times x squared plus 3x plus ln of the absolute value of x minus 2 plus some constant of integration c. And that's our final answer. And so that's how we can integrate any polynomial function which is being divided by a linear using synthetic division. And that's it for this tutorial.